Welcome to module one of this training on Florida's invasive species crisis. In this video, we will be defining what an invasive species is and discussing some common invasives in Florida. Our learning objectives are as follows. By the end of this video, you should be able to define what an invasive species is and identify some common invasive species in Florida. To begin, let's look at a case study on one of Florida's most infamous invasive species. Imagine for a moment that as you're taking your dog out for a walk or letting your cat outside, you see a snake as long as a truck making its way beneath your house, its new nest. You try to call animal control or the police, but they have nobody trained to handle such a creature. This was the reality for some Florida residents 30 years ago. On the right, I have included an image of the type of Florida house a Burmese python may appear at with a crawl space below and access to a waterway or woods in the back. The Burmese python, pictured on the right, indigenous to Myanmar, is one of the largest snakes in the world. Though most specimens caught in Florida are up to 10 feet in length, the snake can actually grow to double that length. This python lays up to 100 eggs per year. Beginning in the 1960s with the rise of exotic pet keeping, Burmese pythons became popular additions to some American households. However, due to lack of awareness, Many exotic pet consumers released their snakes to the wilds when they couldn't accommodate them anymore. These pythons thrived due to Florida's climate, abundant food sources, and lack of natural predators. By the early 2000s, these snakes caused perhaps irreversible damage to Florida's most treasured ecosystem, the Everglades. So, knowing what we now do about the Burmese python, we can begin to put some pieces together to define what an invasive species is. According to the National Wildlife Federation, an invasive species can be any kind of living organism, such as an amphibian, a plant, or a bird, that is not native to an ecosystem and causes harm. One characteristic that many invasive species share is that they immediately take the role of an apex predator with no natural predators of their own, which is what makes many of them so harmful to the environment. However, this is not always the case for every invasive species. Invasive species introduction always occurs as a byproduct of human activity. Some, like the Burmese python or perhaps the green iguana, are released intentionally by pet owners. Others, such as the zebra mollusk, attach themselves to boats. And lastly, some species, like the sun bass, are introduced intentionally to serve a certain purpose. In the case of the sun bass, that purpose is to generate tourism from fishermen who see the fish as a trophy fish. Lastly, I just want to mention a few more notable invasive species that one may find in Florida. Going clockwise, we have a picture of a feral cat. Next is an image of a wild boar or a feral hog, an aggressive species which is a common nuisance for farmers in Florida. Next is an image of the common nine-banded armadillo. And then finally, and perhaps the most threatening of the species on the screen is the lionfish, who entered Florida's waterways around 40 years ago when they were either released or escaped from aquariums. Here are my sources. You can see where all this information came from as well as the images. And feel free to share this video with attribution as long as it is not used for profit. Thank you, and I hope that this was informative.